Hello, Java enthusiasts. Welcome back to Techniz Lighting. I'm Arindam, and today we're going to discuss a powerful feature of Java 8, Default Methods. This feature has revolutionized the way we work with interfaces in Java. So, let's dive right in. Prior to Java 8, interfaces could only declare methods without any implementation. This posed a problem when we wanted to add new methods to an existing interface without breaking the code of classes implementing it. That's where default methods come to the rescue. Default methods provide a solution by allowing interfaces to have concrete implementations for methods. They can be added to existing interfaces without forcing the implementing classes to provide an implementation for them. Let's take a look at the syntax of a default method in an interface. As you can see, we use the keyword default to define the default method. It's followed by the method signature and the implementation within the curly braces. Now, any class implementing this interface can use the default implementation of the default method, or override it if needed. Another fantastic aspect of default methods is the ability to extend interfaces. Let's say we have an interface called my interface and we want to add a new method to it. Without default methods, we would need to modify the interface and change all the implementing classes. But with default methods, we can introduce a new interface called my extended interface that extends my interface and adds the new method. Here's an example. By extending my interface, my extended interface inherits both the normal method and the default method. Implementing classes only need to provide an implementation for the new method, new method, making it backward compatible with the existing code base. What happens when a class implements multiple interfaces that have the same default method signature? Java provides rules to handle these conflicts. A class implementing such interfaces must explicitly override the default method to resolve the conflict. To override a default method, the implementing class can choose which default implementation to use or provide its own implementation entirely. This way, developers have control over how conflicts are resolved. Let's see an example. In this case, my class explicitly chooses to use the default implementation from interface A by calling interface A, super, default method. This way, we have control over which implementation to use. And there you have it, Java enthusiasts. We've taken an in-depth look at default methods in Java 8. It has expanded the possibilities of interfaces and given us more control over conflict resolution. Default methods have taken Java to a whole new level. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it provided you with a better understanding of default methods in Java 8. Don't forget to subscribe to Techniz Lighting for more exciting Java content. See you next time.